Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Nikki Longwell to talk about biologic coordinators and uh, the importance of this relatively new medical service. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Nikki Longwell, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to speak with you about biologic coordinators. Biologic coordinators are some of the most important advocates for patients in healthcare, yet too often their work goes unrecognized. At Janssen, we wanted to recognize the daily commitment of these unsung heroes in patient care by creating this National Annual Awareness Day that will be on November 1st every year. If you would, give us a bit of your professional background and um, talk briefly about your role at Janssen and tell us what exactly a biologic coordinator's role is. Sure. So I'm the head of the field medical uh, team for immunology for Janssen, and medical science liaisons uh, help to fill any educational gaps that healthcare physicians may have. And the role of uh, a biological coordinator, it's it's relatively new, Um, but a biological coordinator is a key member of the medical practices office staff who helps patients to navigate the sometimes complex process of obtaining access to prescribed biologic medications. The roles can vary depending on the practice. Um, For example, a biological coordinator can be a doctor, a nurse, physician's assistant, a medical assistant, or even an office or practice manager. But in some cases, depending on the size of volume of the biologic treatments being prescribed, a medical practice may have someone solely dedicated to being a biologic coordinator, and that's their job title. Is the biologic coordinator, has it taken several roles and condensed them into one person, one role? Yes, in some cases, uh, you know, just depending on the size of the volume of treatments being prescribed, it, it can be their sole job, and that their job title is a biologic coordinator. Now, would this position be found in, in the large uh, healthcare facilities, or could it be just as important in a smaller practice? Yes, it's it's important in any size practice, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's large and then that if it's so large and they have so much volume, that's their sole job. Um, um, but even in small practices, you know, the biological coordinator can be a doctor, uh, a nurse, uh, or a practice manager in that smaller office. Now, is this something that uh, someone can actually be trained to do, or is it a position that just requires a, a lot of knowledge in different areas of healthcare to be effective? So, biological coordinators are are an important member within the practice, and they work in partnership with the patient, the prescribing healthcare provider, the specialty pharmacy, the manufacturing and insurance company. So, to your point, um, they really are coordinating the care for the patients being prescribed a biologic particular role. Exactly. Okay. So there's, there's not like a a course or a training curriculum for this specific role. No, not at, not at the moment. Now you mentioned several duties, but what would you say is the most, I guess the focal duty of a biologic coordinator on a daily basis? On a daily basis, um, biologic coordinators can explain to patients what to expect in terms of information an insurance company might request and how they can assist navigating coverage challenges or denials. They fill out and submit pre-authorization forms to insurance companies on a patient's behalf, and they could keep a close eye on updates from the insurance company when the, when denials do happen, acting quickly with an appeal on a patient's behalf. As a connecting force between the patient, the prescribing healthcare provider, the specialty pharmacy, the manufacturing insurance company, Biologic coordinators work hard to ensure patients have the information and support to obtain and stay on their prescribed biologic treatments. Do you think that based on the current uh, medical landscape that this role will expand to even uh, include even more responsibilities, especially as uh, more questions are asked? Yes, yes. Um, What's most notable to me are the many duties biologic coordinators take on to help patients navigate the arduous process. We mentioned some of these responsibilities already, but there's so much more. Um, for example, biological coordinators, biologic coordinators can triage prescriptions to specialty pharmacy provider once insurance is approved on a patient's behalf. They can provide support to patients on calls with their insurance company. They can help patients coordinate with the specialty pharmacy provider and navigate their medication delivery and injection appointments. 
and they can follow up with patients to ensure their prescriptions have been filled and assist with any questions related to copay or Medicare costs. So you can see from this list that a biologic coordinators really are some of the most important advocates for patients in healthcare. Yet again, their, their, their work often goes un, un, unrecognized. But um, I would say what's most surprising is that some members of a medical practice office staff may not even know they're working as a dual role as uh, an office manager or nurse and as a biologic coordinator for the patients they work so tirelessly to support. Having so many different roles and being involved in so many different aspects of a patient's care and the payer's uh, involvement, how exposed is the biologic coordinator as from a risk management standpoint? So the biologic coordinator is so important in the the care of the patient, but they are not making decisions, you know, treatment decisions like a nurse practitioner or a medical doctor. They really are there to coordinate between the provider, the patient, the insurance company to coordinate the treatment with the biologic medication. Now, on November the 1st uh, each year, talk about Janssen's involvement in uh, National Biologic Coordinators Day and some of the events and possible activities either in the real world or online that people may expect on that day. Sure, absolutely. Um, at Janssen, we have a long-standing commitment to supporting the needs of people living with autoimmune diseases as well as the care teams involved in the patient journey. We recognize the daily commitment of these unsung heroes in patient care and wanted to create an annual dedication where the community can share gratitude. Officially registered on the National Day calendar, Janssen established an inaugural National Biologic Coordinators Day on November 1st to celebrate biologic coordinators during one of their busiest times, which is the open enrollment period. So Janssen is just as a leader in immunology, we're just so excited to be able to, to, to begin this inaugural um, National Biologic Coordinators Day. What are some of the best opportunities to, I guess, enhance the role of biologic coordinators? In terms of opportunities to enhance the role of biologic coordinators, I can share a few ways in which Janssen is supporting these important workers. First, Janssen is committed to improving and enhancing the access and fulfillment processes and programs that support the ability for patients to start and stay on prescribed biologic medication. On this front, we collaborated with Cover by Meds to provide resources beyond core electronic prior auth capabilities for our medicines. With Cover by Meds, cases dashboard, biologic coordinators can leverage enhanced electronic processes, including access to patient support programs, conduct benefits verifications and investigations, and request appeal support while providing consistent visibility into the patient journey. In addition to this dashboard, we're committed to advancing partnerships to highlight the achievements of these important healthcare workers. For example, we've built strong relationships with many advocacy groups that support biologic coordinators, such as the National Psoriasis Foundation, or NPF, and the Dermatology Nurses Association, and we will continue to do so. Is there anything that you'd uh, like to uh, let our listeners know, or maybe a, a website where we can learn more? Sure. So, Biologic coordinators deeply care about patients. They're a true connecting force between the patient, prescribing healthcare, specialty pharmacy, manufacturing, and insurance company who work hard to ensure patients have the information and support to obtain and stay on their prescribed biologic treatments. While the first National Biologic Coordinators Day has passed, Janssen continues to invite people to show their support for unsung heroes in patient care by sharing a story or a photo of a biologic coordinator using the hashtag because you care. Um, we really want to create a groundswell of virtual support year round. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Hopefully we'll get a, an opportunity to speak um, maybe closer to uh, next year's National Biologic Coordinators Day. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes, it was. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Nikki Longwell. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download a SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.